Here's D. Brown. Now remember, D. Brown, long arms, very, very big hands. I think he's going to come out with some stuff. I, I hope that he goes on in the competition. Maybe I'm rooting for him because I think he's got some spectacular dunks to show us tonight if he's if he's here long enough. Slam dunk champion at the Orlando Classic coming out of Commons in Jacksonville. Well, he said he perfected his, all of his dunks on an eight-foot basket. Oh, he's pumping his shoes up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's first of all, he's got the favorite right there. He's pumping up his shoes. <laughs> That's worth about a million bucks to it right there. Another high toss and lob and rippers. Damn. Yes, come on now. Come on. They this, love it. This All kid's right. six feet one now. He, that was spectacular. Yes, it was. Listen, Dominic. Now he's letting in. the air out. There he's you <laughs> go. <right. laughs> Appreciate how high up he gets on this catch. His head almost hit the rim. And the double clutch on the pump while he's hitting. Nice. Look how high the toss. Look. 48.2. That puts Brown. Here comes D. Brown. D. Brown only needs 42 to move past that. Right. D. Brown had 48.2 in the first. Here he goes. Pump it up again. <laughs> what if he's got his catapult shoes on here? A two-handed windmill reverse jam for D. Brown. That's yeah. strong. A power dunk from a guard. Oh, you have to appreciate that move for his size. He's the same height as Bob Neal. Can you imagine Bob Neal doing it? <laughs> appreciate this. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Leave me alone. Yes. Man. Just landing would scare me. He's only six foot. Look at that. That's unbelievable. 44.2. That's going to give 92.4. And that will put D. Brown currently in third place. So it's Kemp Chapman Brown. <laughs> hey, his, his first two, he's had a lot of boys. So Magic and Dominique love it, but they're not the judges. Let's see what the judges think of it. I like it. Mm. How about it? Is that 48 or better? I say it's 46 to 47. I, I, I'll tell you why it might not get a high, a high mark. Uh, because they have not, they've been very consistent about this type of 49-6. Oh, my. Now there goes consistency. That's the <laughs> highest point total of the night for D. Brown and puts him in first place in the spy to get past Chapman. This is his final attempt. Woo! Oh, oh yes. Yes. Oh, oh. yes, did he bring that one? <laughs> oh, oh. That was from oh, the oh. ankles. Oh. If any 50 come out, that's the one right there tonight. Everybody at home, don't try that. Please, don't <laughs> Do try, not try this. These are you might professionals. Get <laughs> that You're is unbelievable. The voices of Magic Johnson and Dominic Wilkins. They're impressed. Let's see if the judges are equally impressed. A 48-4. That will move D. Brown into the championship round. He needed only a 44-5. So Brown ends up with a cumulative 98. Kemp with a 95-6. Chapman gets eliminated, and it'll be Brown and Kemp in the dunk off for the championship in the final round coming up. Right D. Brown and Sean Kemp. D. Brown is 22 years old, a rookie. Sean Kemp is in his second year, but only 21 years old, and the coin toss was won by D. Brown, who elected to go second. Oh, getting a little help here. Oh, no, he's not. Oh. D. Brown is resting the ball on the back of the backboard with help from Dennis Scott and Cliff Levingston. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, this is what you would expect to see in the finals of a dunking contest. Bring it all out. Am I? I think he should try to dunk this first ball with his left hand and then grab it with his right. Right. You got it. Right there yeah, you go. You got him. Yeah. That's what you got to do. You got the left dunk and, and bring it down with the right. It's easy for us here at ground level to create all these things. <laughs> See, really, the, the, the dunk was not clean. That was uh, the ball hit the rim. <laughs> that was creative.
points. You got to give the young man credit. 48.1, and I think deservedly so, for the attempt. Remember, three dunks. He's already had his replacement now. So he'll have two more. Only the best two count for the champion. before the jam. Magic and Dominique liking it, as are their peers sitting to their left. They're the judges, George Gervin, Danny Roundfield. 46.4, uh, disappointing number for D. Brown. Second dunk, three dunks in the finals. But remember, if, if he doesn't get a 46-4 there, he's, he's already lost. He gets oh, a 45.7. the cherry on the Sunday. <laughs> Sean Kemp knows it. Everybody knows it. D. Brown, 22-year-old rookie. Oh, man. Watch him hide his eyes. <laughs> the blind dunk. He's got the Johnny Moe's. Pull the plug. Let's go home. Turn it out. The no look dunk. He's been watching the champions. Uh, he's, he's polished already. I tell you, Johnny Moe's, the former Celtic announcer, would have been proud of him. He'd like to be called that one. So D. Brown electrifies the crowd and is the beginning of a new order here in the NBA. Oh, my. 49.6 on that third dunk. That ties for the highest point total of the night. It is the clear-cut winner. Sean Kemp agreed. Magic Johnson, the defending champion. Dominique Wilkins agreed. And D. Brown is going to get the trophy in $20,000 at 6-1 wins the Slam Dunk Championship. Well, he was the creator tonight. At the top nine dunks, he had five of the, five of the top dunks. So he was the creator, and he's the guy who, I think, captured the crowd as much as anyone. Not only did he capture the crowd, he captured his peers in row one.